guys, what's up? Hello mga kapatid, kamusta po tayong lahat, ano? Uh, anyway, hindi na po lingit sa ating kalaman ang uh, mga epekto ng ano, no? Ng COVID-19, ano, sa ating mga negosyo. Napakarami pong nagsarado talaga ng mga kampanya, ano? Dahil nga po dito sa pandemyang ito, ano? Napakarami po mga taong uh, naging depressed, stress, at nawala ng pag-asa talaga, ano? Uh, yung mga kumpanya ay talagang hindi po nakasurvive dahil panay lockdown uh, di na po makapag-operate ng maayos ngunit uh, ganun pa man uh, sa kabila ng mga pangyayari ano, uh, we are still thankful sa ating mahal na Panginoon dahil tayo po ay buhay yun po yung tanging pinagpapasalamat natin at guys alam nyo ba uh, hindi lang po ganun dahil kung may mga negosyo po na nagsas, nag, nagsara or naapitohan ng malaki dahil po sa pandemyang ito, meron, na rin, meron pa rin naman pong mga kumpanya na talagang uh, nagka, nagkaroon ng uh, malaking income dahil po sa pandemyang ito. So alam nyo ba, napakarami po mga businesses. Ano? So sa video po ito, i-atin pong matutunghayan ang mga businesses uh, that are making a lot of money. Uh, because of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic ano? Ngunit kapatid kung bago ka rito sa aking channel uh, Sana ay uh, huwag mong kalimutang mag like uh, Mag comment, mag subscribe At uh, i-click ang aking uh, notification button ano? Nang sa ganon ay maging updated ka kapatid Kapag ka may mga bago po tayong mga i-upload Na mga informative Na mga useful uh, videos ano? So yun nga po So, kahit ganun pa man ang nangyari sa ating uh, panahon ngayon, sana huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa dahil uh, ang Panginoon po ay tapat sa atin kailan pa man. Kailangan po nating uh, minsan uh, pag-aralan din ang kanyang mga salita no? dahil uh, kung talagang naka, dahil kung naka-focus lang po tayo dito sa mga makamundong mga bagay talagang uh, magiging hopeless po tayo lalo na po sa mga panahon ganito ano. Sabi nga po doon sa sa Biblia sa Luke 4 uh, verse 4 uh, it is written that uh, the man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God. So meaning to say uh, kailangan po talaga natin na magbasa ng paminsan-minsan ng Biblia dahil ang ating buhay ay uh, hin- uh, I mean hindi lang po tayo nabubuhay dito sa mundo uh, ngunit kailangan po natin ng Uh, tawag dito, kailangan po natin ng spiritual guidance, ano? So, yun po. Uh, with that, sana ang uh, video ito ay kahit pa paano ay uh, magbigay sa atin ng uh, uh, information, magbigay sa atin ng encouragement, ano? Na patuloy lang na lumaban kung ano paman, uh, regardless kung ano paman ang nangyari ngayon sa ating panahon, ano? Dahil uh, siguro ang mga nangyari ngayon sa mundo ay talagang Uh, just lang po ang nakakalam at uh, for me, personally, siguro talagang may purpose po dito ang Panginoon, ano? So, yun po, uh, wag lang mawala ng pag-asa, patuloy lang po tayong manalig sa Panginoon, Malo, patuloy tayong uh, tumawag sa Kanya, nang sa ganun ay kahit pa paano maibsan ng ating mga problema So, tara guys, panoorin na po natin nang malaman natin ano, kung ano-ano ba itong manibusong ito Businesses in every state are feeling the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. Millions of workers in America and other parts of the world have filed a high rate of unemployment since mid-March, and weekly claims show no signs of slowing down soon as businesses deal with changes in supply and demand. However, many industries stood out of others and are doing well for themselves. In this video, I will share with you 13 businesses that are making a lot of money from this pandemic. 1. Digital Streaming Services Due to the lockdown, many organizations and cable TVs have taken streaming their activities seriously for their members and viewers, not to miss out on programs. With lots of free time on hand and little to do, most seek for ways to keep their minds of individuals occupied so that they can find streaming services site be it free or paid. However, according to Fractal.ai, while an increase in demand and subscribers is excellent for the industry, viewers' taste and preferences may expand. As such, organizations must ace up their content game to be able to meet up. 2. 
Frozen foods It's no secret that the pandemic is not bad for all sectors, as some are flourishing more than ever before. Frozen food services have very quickly emerged as a growing trailblazer, as it almost doubles sales. Most consumers who bought frozen foods since the beginning of COVID-19 are expected to buy more in the next several months as the end of the lockdown is unpredictable. Research shows that frozen foods will remain on high demand for months and maybe years ahead, as this attracts new and returning customers who are relying on variety of frozen foods to bring the much-needed comfort and satisfaction. 3. Face Mask Productions There isn't a better object symbolizing the pandemic than the mask, and no object gives a more precise explanation to the world about what the pandemic is about than the mask. At first, social distancing felt like a strange notion. The inaction of it made it all seem like a joke. But the mask sang out to our most profound protective impulse. In the absence of a drug or vaccine for the virus, the mask is the only protective material that can be bought. As a result, in every corner of the country, the little face mask, this assembly of inexpensive plastic or clothing, has been elevated into a fetish commodity. Even fashion designers have taken into the business of producing masks. 4. Facebook As people around the world are shut in their homes under lockdown, they are using Facebook more than ever to share news, messages with their friends, and find entertaining distractions from the dullness of quarantine life. Although due to the pandemic, advertising on Facebook may have dropped, in the long run, the company will benefit massively as companies will more than ever before attempt to put their businesses back in the face of the public, increase users of the platform. Furthermore, the pandemic has led to a significant benefit on the company via video calls, gaming, live videos, and its other services other than advertising. 5. Netflix The stay-at-home order is a great time for Netflix. This streaming or entertainment company has been under severe pressure from rivals and competitors. Disney and Apple Company had launched streaming services which had stolen some of its market shares, with NBC and Warner Media not lagging far behind. However, with the pandemic ravaging the human race, everyone stuck at home as a precautionary measure, no sports airing, live on TV, and so many other shows are unable to continue on production. These subscribers or customers are less likely to cancel their Netflix plans and more likely to appreciate its services and entertainment available for airing. 6. Hand Sanitizers As a safety measure, the World Health Organization WHO, has advised individuals to incorporate the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizers, as it is said to fight the virus actively. Thus, this product that was unknown by many has now become one of the most sought-after commodities all over the world today. Sales of hand sanitizers had been steadily on the rise for the past few months, and CNBC noted that as of the first week of March, the sales of hand sanitizers has skyrocketed with over 470% increase compared to the sales of the same time last year. 7. Telecommunication this industry is predictably making it big in this pandemic. With no work or leisure and with the reflection that this pandemic brings to mind, individuals are trying to get more connected with their loved ones, near and far. The need to stay up to date with news, attend online meetings and seminars and get entertained through the internet has also increased the rate at which people subscribe to their smartphones. 8. Personal Trainers the fitness industry is one that is on high demand during this pandemic. While few companies are prepared for the prolonged closure of gyms, many brands have made good use of this time to push the boundaries of what the fitness industry can deliver through an online platform. Lots of gyms have now gone virtual with classes, training, and live streaming using platforms like Zoom, YouTube, etc. The improvement to fitness content, accessibility, and online support are just a few shiny coatings that have accompanied these trying times. 9. Amazon Inability to go out for shopping means that you'll have to shop online. Research shows that Amazon has been employing more staff as they require assisting hands due to increased order volume 
as most stores are shutting down their location. Amazon as a general merchandise retailer and is most likely finding this crisis to be bittersweet as consumers are spending more on necessary low-cost goods like toilet paper and less on higher margin items like clothing. But Amazon's other business, cloud computing, is doing excellently well as an increase in online activity means more demand for cloud server space. 10. Delivery Services Even as the pandemic has thrown people into panic buying, there are thousands of people who are skipping the in-store experience altogether and shifting to delivery apps for everything from groceries to lattes and lunches. Many stores including restaurants have changed to virtual business. They make deliveries at your doorstep, which reduces the risk of going outside their homes. 11. Sales of Freezers As the lockdown continues, a lot of people are buying and stocking up groceries that will last them for weeks, maybe months. Freezers will no doubt help to preserve all that had been purchased for storage at home. As there is no certainty of how long the pandemic could possibly last, it is very reasonable to assume that people are buying freezers to store more food. Johnson Mertz in Donuts stated that as at this time last year, they sold about five freezers, but that number has skyrocketed to over a hundred since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. 12. Toilet Paper Research has shown that since the COVID-19 outbreak and restrictions, the demand for toilet paper has increased. The increase in demand is because owing to shelter-in-place restrictions across the country, families need more toilet paper at home. The sales of toilet paper have risen steeply as many just want to stack up their homes for long enough for the pandemic to die down. 13. Zoom The total lockdown enforced on almost all countries of the world has pushed companies to take the bold step of working online from home, making the use of Zoom for business meetings necessary. The number of Zoom users has rapidly increased since the pandemic, and as users increase, the demand for its shares in stock has also increased. According to data from Aptopia, the company's daily active user count was up 378% from a year earlier as of March 22nd, while monthly active users were up 186%. The times we are in is unprecedented and it is disheartening to know that many businesses have hit the rock. However, even in these tough times, many others seem to thrive more than before.